Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Legion. And we are back in the Hole of Shadows. After our little trip to try and rescue Chromie, which is going to take many, many, many more trips before we actually are able to do it well. But it's okay. Um, off camera, I did one or two world quests and actually worked with some pit pocketing. And now we have enough of the coins of air to give to Alabas the Magnificent. Let's see what happens. My goodness, already? 1,000 coins of A. Yes, yes, yes! Do you see the power radiating from the lamp? I can sense objects of great power that were concealed even from my mighty eyes. Shining lamp of Alabas, which I believe we already had, didn't we? Oh, we just had the regular lamp. With my newly empowered lamp, I sense further, more valuable trinkets in the pockets of these elves and demons. Fetch them for me. Find rare treasures in the pockets of the denizens of Broken Isles, and then we'll get gleaming. Constantly radiates a strong glow. So as you can see... Oh, he, he took them. Curses. So we need to get eventually 10,000 coins separately from uh, the ones we give Alabas. That is not good. If I had known that, I would have gone for the 10,000 right off the bat. Oh well. Now, part of me wanted to go ahead and continue with the Chromie storyline and see, go to one of the other dragon shrines and see how hard that is and get a little bit of experience and uh, rep with Chromie as well. But before we do that, I'm going to do one PvP related thing, guys, that is actually going to be ending here fairly quickly. And then if we have time, we'll uh, head to one of the Dragon Shrines and see what trouble we can get into. But the one thing that we have that's about to end is, what's it called? It's actually here on the calendar. It is the PvP Brawl Packed House. So I'm kind of curious to see what that is, so let's go ahead and... You get 4 million artifact power for it, so that works out, I suppose. Go ahead and join the battle. And we'll see how long of a queue we have here, but um, apparently it's going to be a lot of people fighting in close quarters, so that should be fun. We'll uh, see what happens. Okay, packed house. This actually looks like Black Rook Hold. Even the most bloodthirsty combatants eventually grow wary and turn their backs to the unending struggle of war. They seek a new way to test their mettle and destroy their enemies. Join the brawl in progress and fight your opponents in a limited time event that tosses traditional rules aside. Win a PvP brawl. 64 million artifact power. Nice! So this is essentially like, oh, it's an arena match. Except with uh, 2v2 or 3v3 or 5v5, it is uh, a lot more than that. Interesting. Let's get in the Mechano Hog. Kill them more than they kill us and we win. Indeed. That's how that works. I don't know, guys. I'm not good in arena. I don't play it for a reason. Oh lord, this is like chivalry. Okay, so if I was a healer... Uh-huh. Sap, 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 sap. I will distract. Try to distract the shaman from healing. That's what a good rogue does, isn't it? I guess. Who are killing me? Oh, you are. Hey, you stop that. Ah! What are you doing? Go away. Demon hunters. Speed! You ain't ever gonna catch me! Oh, man. We are almost all dead, aren't we? Hi! Oh, this sucks. <laughs> I don't think they lost anyone. That's no bueno. Green team, two players remaining. And the alliance win. Wow. This is, uh... This is karma. 
You know what it is? It really is. It's karma for what happened in South Shore. Suramar's citizens Act. must be told of the uh, arrival the of the Horde. So, we will go ahead and queue up again for that. And we'll see what happens when we actually... When it does what it's supposed to. In the meantime, I thought now's a good time to go ahead and show you what I've been doing here off camera. And that is doing some pit pocketing. Now, I queued up and got almost 2,000 coins of air in, around the uh, tomb of uh, Sargeras, or Sargeras. So, let's head into an area with a Next lot of elites. Of harassing my supporters. Because I think the area with elites are going to be our best bet for getting some good loot. Indeed. And a glimmering treasure chest. Been a while since we've been in these parts. Oh, but everything can see stealth here. Ew, that's a bit of a problem. Tell you what, let's head somewhere. Here we go. Head over here to the docks. I don't think a whole lot of them can see through stealth. We'll soon find out. Find a nice place to drop down that's not going to get us killed. There we go. Sap the demon. Pickpocket the demon. And now we have a charmed bracelet that once we... Uh, it's instantly... Once we pickpocket it, it's instantly transformed into coins of air. Normally you had to go back to um, Grifta and he fenced the loot for you, but because we're dealing with air with air coins here, I suppose. Don't have to worry about it. Now the quest that we have for from the genie is actually a little bit different. We need to get rare items from all the different uh, critters around here. So we're gonna be pitpocketing for quite some time, I would think. Ooh. That was sixty. We got a noggin fogger coin. Mana graphic card. Ah, there's one of the things that we need. And I remember they talked about um, elves and demons. When I think about elves and demons together, well, obviously, uh, Suramar City comes into thought. What? Cracked focusing crystal? We'll leave that alone. And as long as we stay stealth and don't do anything stupid, we should be in good shape. Yeah, as you guys can see, I don't do a whole lot of arena. Um, I would actually the first time I'd ever seen that that level or that stage rather. So I'm glad to see that. Uh, oop! We got seen. When I tell you guys I suck at something. Particularly arena. I like to consider myself a man of my word. And also, I'm not really spec for PvP. Charmed ring. So we already have 3,000. We need 10,000 to uh, give to our buddy. What do we get from that quest, anyway? From Grifta. Nothing. We'll probably get, like, the most worthless charm ever. Huh? I would assume. I wonder what would happen if you actually pitpocket some of the bad nasties. Ooh. Verbillion Torbillion Chronometer. And we just got 20,000. Holy crap. Well, that was more than enough. Let's head back to the Hall of Shadows. And hand these off to Grifta. That was quite handy. I assume those rare items that we need to get for the genie are just going to show up over the course of time. We're not It's not a one-day thing. I don't think, unless we really want to commit to it. And we also got the pet battle dungeon to go to. Ah, oh, so much to do. And plenty of time. Because the tomb opens for the dedicated raiders tomorrow, and then an entire week will pass. And then it'll be the first wing will be open to looking for raids, so no worries. And I just passed right by Grifta, didn't I? You derp. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, what's a habit? What you looking for? 
Oh man, I can't wait to use these. I be thanking you. This be the best day. I'm going to fleece that Baron so hard his eyes be covered in more wool than a flock of sheep. <laughs> and we get all of that gold. Which is neat. I don't need them, but I'll take them. Yeah, another batch, huh? You'll be really enthusiastic about these. I guess so, since we don't really have a need for it, do we? You come get the food. Fence the loot. We have no loot what to fence. On your mind? Sure, let's see what happens. Uh, be sure you want to do this. I got other wares that be much more interesting, and next week I be needing more of these. Ah, okay. So we will exit out of that and wait until tomorrow. That's a good way to get 5k gold, though. That's enough for epic flying and whatever else you'd want to get on a character. It's less so now that flying is shared between all of your characters, but still, you guys know what I mean. Well, nothing to do now. We've got one minute left in part of the average wait time. I'll see you guys back in the arena. Round two. And this looks interesting. Where are we? Blades Edge Arena. Ah, okay. So this was back for Warlords, if memory serves. We'll see what happens. Probably death. Where's my Warlock candy? There we go. Now I actually um, stopped around the, what was the name of the place? Deliverance Point in the Broken Shore. I actually looked and we have, look at this guys, we have almost 20,000 Nether Shard, which means that we can get some really good gear, I'm thinking. Or at least some toys. So after we're done with this battle, we'll go ahead and check out and see what exactly we can get. I am going to stealth right off the bat. Let the games begin. Ooh, someone's calling the rounds. Yep, that's definitely Outworld. Or Outland, or Draenor, or wherever. What are you? You are a warrior. You are a warrior. Must find something that we can go ahead and lay the smack down on quickly. Or is our... You know what? We're just probably getting thrashed, aren't we? Oh well, let's see what happens. Yoink! And I'm going to die. It's okay. These things happen. Because it looks like it's a full sw alliance sweep. Except now? Okay. 13 out of 13 remaining. Can I not res? I want to res! I want to res! Do we have to wait until we're in a better area? Or what's going on? It won't let me. That is a shame. Do I have to res down here? I am so lost! 10 players remaining, 13 players remaining. I guess all I can do is sit here and wait. I think I was the first one dead on the horde side. That's embarrassing. Keep it going. I'm going to cheer for our guys. Yo, we got a mage right here. Can you hear me? Yo. Oh, Healy's. So this was just a slice from, or a fight across the bridge, the bridge battle, which you see all the time in LARP. Okay, 10 versus 12, looks like Horde is still behind, 9 to 12, yeah, curses. 
Well, that's unfortunate. Yes, yes. They got a lot of healers on their team, though. They got a priesty here. Finish him. Priest. Lots of mages. Tons of mages, actually. Holy crap. Hunters. Paladin. Yeah, 3 to 12. It's all over but the crying. Yes, yes. Uh. Who's talking trash? Oh, okay. An ogre king. That makes sense. Well then, that is unfortunate. But we will bathe our embarrassment in uh, potential good loot. So, with our 19,000, wasn't it? Yeah, 19,000. We could go ahead and keep on trying to spawn um, better loot from the relinquished gear. Or, hey there. we can get some toys. We have got the repurposed fell focuser. Counts as both a battle and guardian elixir. Increases strength, agility, and intellect by 500 and stamina by 750 for one hour. That is actually pretty good. And then we have the Legion Pocket Portal, which um, opens a portal to a dangerous Legion world. Which I actually like. So here's what we're going to do. I think we're going to go ahead and buy the repurposed health focuser and the Leg Legion Pocket Portal. That gives us about 4,000 4, left, which means that have we can go ahead and utilize some of this stuff later. Now, I, this better not be like a one-time thing. It's not! Woot! Outstanding. That actually would be really good against Agatha. When we can actually fight her next, because they're in the middle of building the tower again. And we got the Legion Pocket Portal, which just seems like a good uh, goblin engineering toy. Let's go ahead and queue up for that again. And let's see. Legion Pocket Portal. Fits in your pocket. Ooh. Uh oh. I've released imps. Baladash Malinora. Can we just dive in? Oh, okay. Well, that's actually pretty cool. That's gonna be that's a really fun uh toy for a warlock to have. Warlocks get all a lot of the cool stuff. But I guess what I shall do off camera is pick some more demon pockets. Remember all those times it said that they didn't have pockets to pick? Well, they're liars. They have pockets now, apparently. Um, I'm going to see if we can get Mana Forged Worry Chain, Elegant Mana Braid, a Subtle Chronometer, Glitzy Mana Chain, and a Locket of Magical Memories um, in this area. And uh, I'll see you guys back in the arena. Okay. Round three. Worst comes to worse. I'm at least, uh, it's 15 on 15. Ah. But I have to say that at least we get to see all of these arenas that I had no idea about. We are actually fighting above Undercity. I'm sure Sylvanas loves that. Since there are 15 Alliance, like, right in her backyard. Or her upyard. I suppose. So, what we got? We got an Elemental Shami. DK, or Blood Elf Demon Hunter, excuse me. Healers, yes, maybe? I don't see a lot of healers. And we got a Druid. Two rogues. Oh, we got a heal. Okay. This might work. We'll have to see how, what our team does and then plan accordingly. Where are they going? Oh wow, this is just a wham bam right here off the side, huh? All right. Well, good time to fire the cannons. Yeah, let's see. We got Stormkeeper. I guess I can get take care of the shaman, right? Ah! I have been discovered. I'm about to die. Heals! Power stuns! I'm gonna kill at least someone here. There we go. Now we did what's what. 
right here in the thick of it. Slicing the Dysons. And now we flee. Yoink. Ooh, hi. How are you? You are hiding too. I'm glad I saw that. Now we got, there's eight of us against them. Oh, crap. Come on. I want to fire the cannons. And I'm getting hit with all kinds of nonsense. Oh, get the healer. Get the healer. Come on, guys. We're so close. Go all out. There we go. Five against two. I was going to do three strikes, you're out, but we might pull this off. One more. And it's a warrior. It's over with. Hallelujah. Okay. Well, that happened. <laughs> I wanted to at least win one. So, we got 200. And was there something different? Oh, we have to head back to Dalaran. Okay. I was in the middle of another pitpocketing spree. Still haven't found any of the high flash items yet. But, it's no worries. And we are about to get an absolute ton of artifact power. Now remember, the Dreadblades only have two more upgrades before we're full. And then I'm kind of curious to see what would happen. Because we normally, for the blue items, get about 20 million artifact power. I want to see what happens when we throw 20 million artifact power into uh, the Fangs of the Devourer or the King Slayers. Just to see how many upgrades we get with that one. You know what I mean? So... We'll pass Cloud and Aerith there. What can I do for you? And this worked. Brawler's Foot Locker. Complete five time walking dungeons. Nah, I'm good. Thanks, Mandel. And oh, 64 million artifact power. That made a sizable dent. Skirmisher's Mastery. Believe me, there was no mastery involved in that. And, ooh. 895. 895 Storm Relic. Which is actually an upgrade. From what we have. Hallelujah. So we have Black Powder rank 6 out of 6. Man. Between the Eyes damage is increased by 36%. And we're still at 898 though. But I think with the uh, repurposed Fell Focuser, we should be in good shape to take on Agatha whenever that happens. So, what do we need to do for the rest of this episode? Actually, there is um, something that I've needed to get out of the queue here for quite some time. It's engineering based, but it's good enough, good enough for uh, government work. We have got... I have to go to talk to Rocket Chief Fuselage in Area 52, of all places. So I guess we can go ahead and travel there. And we get the schematic for a toy that I actually already have. I bought on the auction house for like cheap. But it's like Blingtron Circuit Box. It's a really kind of weird game. I'll show you guys here before the end of the episode. And let's go ahead and zoom, zoom, zoom. Kazan, Dalaran, Shatrith, yeah. I guess Shatrith would, Shatrith would work, though it actually probably would have been easier just to take the Dark Portal and then fly up through the Nether. But it's okay. Any excuse I have to uh, come here to Outland, I will gladly take. It's a nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live here. Because Lord knows I did, <laughs> back in the day, when all the characters had to make the Outland grind. Come on, Rooks. Let's go for a flight. You haven't been to Outland yet. And there ain't a whole lot of things here that can shoot you down. One thing I've considered doing is searching for a crow mini pet and have that be Rooks. And basically, he's kind of like a uh, 
I can't really think of an, uh, but he's just in small form, and then when I need him for a mount, he'll grow into a giant raven. I just don't know where to get a crow, though. I think you can get one at Dark Moon Fair if you're lucky, but that's not until next month. Also, guys, so you know, um, we've got the Midsummer Fire Festival starting here pretty soon. So that should be very interesting. I think I've already done it on most of my characters, but not on Swindle. So you'll get to see a little bit of PvP, or at least um, Capital Infiltration, which I know you guys enjoyed from the quest line where we got this guy. But um, should be very interesting. I, I like the Fire Festival a lot. But I will go ahead and make the flight to Area 52, and I'll see you guys there. Ah, good old Netherstorm. I remember uh, having to farm this area often, and going to those horrible places in Tempest Keep. But it's okay. Uh, we fought, oh, what's his name? Sunrider? I completely spaced what his last name was, or what his first name was. Well, there's Area 52. Well, let me, oh, that's gonna bug me. Where is the adventure guide? Raids, raids, raids. Oh, uh, Burning Crusade. The Eye. Kael'thas. Yeah, good old Kael'thas. Now, these are filled with Steam Weedle Cartel go Goblins, who aren't exactly um, our normal run of the mills. But it's okay. We're all green on the outside, and probably the inside, too. Yo! Yo, Rocket. Chief Fuselage, Commander of Boom, the Bain Brain Trust of Orbital Observations and Mechanics, at your service. Are all systems go? It looks like the X-52 Nether Rocket still needs a lot of work. Come on, people. We're T-minus Nether here. Yo, I'm uh, looking for information about the inventor of Blingtron. The inventor of the Blingtron unit? Well, now, that's quite the question. As the legend goes, he has a great tall fella, about four gnomes high, with big old muscly arms to lift the pieces of his inventions around. He had beautiful purple sideburns and lightning in his eyes. Well, at least that's what my cousin Ricket told me. She knows the rest of the story. If you really want to know more, you can find her at K3 in the Storm Peaks. Oh, good lord, that's in Northrend. Okay, well, I guess we will, uh... That is a really cool looking rocket. Let's go ahead and get a closer look. It looks like I am on a wild goose chase. Am I going to fly right through? Jump right through the... Oh, Lord. Well, oh, curses. Looks like I'm on a wild goose chase, but let me go ahead and show you the finished product here so we don't have to continue on that. Lingtron Circuit Design Tutorial is a cool little game. Uncross the wires to save my digital life. And I don't think anyone can see this but it's a game where you essentially have to flip the wires like so. And it's kind of like a Rubik's Cube. And then you have to find the, the best option. Now, it's really good to go ahead and play this when people aren't going to be walking around. But I haven't been able to actually finish the game. The levels get progressively harder. And um, I'm trying to remember... There's that one. There's one of them that's really tough. Here we go. And I think there's one more after this. But you guys get the idea. But it's a really cool little uh, mini game to play when you're bored or waiting for people to queue up for a dungeon. So, no worries. It's a good little... It's, it's very engineering. But I will go ahead and end it here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, when we get back, we may head back to um, Wormrest. Because I actually... We need to head to Northrend anyway to help out Chromie again, and we'll see what's going on at the other Dragon Shrines. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.